the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, one of humanity's most ambitious scientific instruments, has recently made a discovery that may reshape our understanding of the cosmos. It has revealed tantalizing clues about what might have occurred. Before the Big Bang, an era that, until now, was cloaked in complete mystery. This finding is particularly significant because it challenges several widely accepted scientific theories regarding the origin and evolution of the universe. To understand the magnitude of this discovery, it's essential to revisit the foundation of modern cosmology, the Big Bang Theory. According to this well-established model, the universe originated approximately 13.8 billion years ago from an incredibly hot, dense singularity. From this singular point, space itself began to expand, and as it did, it cooled. This cooling process allowed the formation of subatomic particles which eventually coalesced into atoms. Over time, these atoms formed stars, galaxies, and the large-scale structures we observe today. This theory is not speculative, it is grounded in a wealth of observational evidence. One of the earliest and most convincing pieces of evidence supporting the Big Bang Theory is Hubble's Law. In the 1920s, astronomer Edwin Hubble observed that distant galaxies were moving away from us, and crucially, the farther away they were, the faster they appeared to recede. This relationship indicated that the universe itself was expanding which implied that at some point in the past, it must have been much smaller and denser. This discovery marked a monumental shift in our understanding of the cosmos and laid the groundwork for the Big Bang model. Further support comes from the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, CMBR, a faint glow that permeates the entire universe. Discovered in 1965 by Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, the CMBR is a remnant of the intense heat and light that filled the early universe. Today, it has cooled to just 2.7 Kelvin above absolute zero, and its near uniformity tells us a great deal about the state of the cosmos in its infancy. Embedded within this uniform glow are slight fluctuations, tiny variations in temperature and density that represent the seeds of all future structure in the universe. These fluctuations have been precisely mapped by missions such as COBE, WMAP, and Planck, providing a detailed picture of the universe just 380,000 years after the Big Bang, when it first became transparent to light. In addition to the CMBR, the observed abundances of the lightest elements, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, and boron, match predictions made by Big Bang nucleosynthesis. This process occurred just minutes after the Big Bang and set the initial chemical makeup of the universe. As the universe expanded and cooled, protons and neutrons combined to form the first atomic nuclei, giving rise to the elemental composition we still observe in the oldest stars and interstellar gas clouds. The large-scale structure of the universe, clusters, filaments, and voids also supports the Big Bang model. Galaxies are not randomly scattered, but follow a web-like pattern shaped by gravity acting on those initial fluctuations seen in the CMBR. The most distant galaxies observed near the edge of the observable universe are also the oldest, having formed shortly after the Big Bang. In contrast, younger galaxies are located closer to us. These spatial relationships allow astronomers to essentially look back in time, observing cosmic evolution across billions of years. However, as comprehensive as the Big Bang theory is, it does not explain everything. One of the most profound uh, unanswered questions in physics is, what, if anything, came before the Big Bang? The theory describes the evolution of the universe from a hot, dense state, but remains silent on the origin of that state. Did the universe have a beginning in time, or did it emerge from something more fundamental? Several theoretical models attempt to answer this question. One such model is the Big Bounce, which proposes that the universe undergoes endless cycles of expansion and contraction. In this view, what we perceive as the Big Bang is simply the beginning of a new cycle following the collapse of a previous universe. Another idea is the ekpyrotic or cyclic model, which arises from string theory and higher dimensional physics. It suggests that our universe is a three-dimensional brain embedded in a higher dimensional space and that the Big Bang was triggered by a collision between our brain and another parallel brain. A different approach is the pre-Big Bang scenario derived from string theory. This model suggests that the universe existed in a different state prior to the Big Bang, governed by the laws of string dynamics. 
as the strings vibrated and interacted, they eventually transitioned into the high energy state that initiated. The Big Bang, still another theory, the no boundary or boundaryless proposal developed by Stephen Hawking and James Hartley, posits that the universe has no initial boundaries in time or space. According to this quantum cosmological model, the universe began as a quantum fluctuation from a timeless, spaceless void, a state described by a wave function encompassing all possible histories of the cosmos. These theories are not necessarily in conflict. It is possible that they represent different facets of a deeper, unified understanding of cosmic origins. What they all have in common, however, is the attempt to extend our knowledge beyond the Big Bang, a task that until recently was considered almost purely theoretical. Now, thanks to the JWST, that boundary may be starting to dissolve. One of JWST's most remarkable observations is the identification of the earliest proto-galaxy cluster ever discovered. This discovery could offer key insights into how the earliest structures in the universe formed. According to the standard, cosmological model, matter and energy in the early universe were initially distributed very uniformly with small quantum perturbations superimposed. These perturbations were amplified by a process known as cosmic inflation, a brief period of exponential expansion that occurred a fraction of a second after the Big Bang. As the universe continued to expand and cool, regions of slightly higher density began to attract more matter via gravity, leading to the formation of stars and galaxies. The process began with the collapse of cold molecular clouds composed of gas, dust, and dark matter. These clouds formed the first stars, massive, short-lived objects that quickly enriched the surrounding medium with heavier elements through supernova explosions. This cycle of star formation and enrichment continued, eventually leading to the emergence of the complex galaxies we see today. The timeline of these events varies depending on initial conditions. Denser regions could collapse within 50 to 100 million years, while others might take 200 to 250 million years. Radiation from early stars created turbulent environments that influenced subsequent star formation. Nevertheless, the gravitational assembly of these regions led to the development of massive early galaxies, some of which have been detected. Just 320 million years after the Big Bang, the JWST is expected to uncover even earlier populations of primordial stars and galaxies, allowing astronomers to piece together the complete history of cosmic structure formation. It's important to note that the internal dynamics of galaxies, sometimes pejoratively called gastrophysics, have limited impact on the large-scale structure of the universe. The formation of galaxy clusters, superclusters, and cosmic filaments is primarily governed by three factors, the rate of cosmic expansion, the amplitude of the initial density perturbations, and the gravitational interaction. Across different cosmic scales, while star formation, black hole activity, and gas dynamics are vital for shaping individual galaxies, these processes do not significantly affect the overarching pattern of matter distribution in the universe. Before JWST, astronomers relied on various observational techniques to study these structures. One commonly used method is redshift analysis. Redshift refers to the phenomenon where light from distant galaxies is stretched to longer, redder wavelengths as the universe expands, by measuring this shift, astronomers can determine how fast a galaxy is moving away from us and estimate its distance. Spectrographs are used to analyze the light spectrum of galaxies, identifying characteristic absorption or emission lines that shift due to motion. This technique has been instrumental in identifying galaxy clusters, such as the Coma and Virgo clusters. These clusters often exhibit high internal velocities, sometimes several thousand kilometers per second, and emit X-rays due to hot gas resulting from galaxy collisions or intense star formation. Mapping the redshifts of numerous galaxies allows astronomers to reconstruct the large-scale structure of the universe and chart its expansion over time. With each new observation from JWST, our picture of the early universe becomes clearer. We are now entering an era where previously speculative ideas about the pre-Big Bang universe are being subjected to empirical scrutiny. These discoveries not only deepen our understanding of how the cosmos evolved, but also raise new questions about the very nature of space, time, and existence itself. Thank you for engaging with this exploration of cosmic origins. If you found this journey through space and time compelling, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and activating the notification bell. Your support helps bring these monumental scientific discoveries to a wider audience.
We look forward to continuing this voyage into the deepest mysteries of the universe with you. See you in the next episode.